Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the Cisco Devices team. And today we're gonna to do a quick demo showing you how easy it is to onboard a uh, Cisco device um, to either register to WebEx uh, like we normally do uh, or the new Microsoft Teams room mode. And so what I'm gonna do is I got behind me here a uh, Board Pro uh, and I'm gonna show uh, on my screen here uh, the, the interface to make it easier for you guys to see. Um, but we're gonna show you our new onboarding wizard um, and how easy it is to actually do this setup. This will be the first in a series of videos I'm going to do um, showing you how to do everything from uh, registration to uh, setting up uh, your Microsoft Teams Rooms device um, and, and a few other videos kind of going forward. But um, right now, this is going to be a short one just kind of showing you the new onboarding flow. So to do that, let me go ahead and switch over to where you guys can see the device screen behind me here. So you'll see this is actually the new uh, onboarding wizard, uh, which is I uh, got a new look and theme. Uh, I could go back to the old one, but um, if you have a new device and it's on uh, the beta channel today, um, you can actually get this new onboarding wizard. Um, but uh, once you select it, it'll bring this up and uh, this will eventually be our new default. Um, but you just go through here by uh, answering the questions, hitting start, making sure your, uh, your network settings are correct. So of course, you can do some of your advanced uh, network settings here. Uh, or if you don't have Ethernet, you could do Wi-Fi, uh, although we do recommend uh, Ethernet uh, if available. Um, and then just continuing through here, because this is actually a board, it's going to ask you how your device is set up uh, for uh, audio optimization. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and say that, uh, actually I said floor stand, but this one's obviously on a wall. Um, and then of course, changing your time zone, uh, pretty straightforward to do. Um, you just choose the uh, area you're in. I'm going to leave mine in UTC. Zero. And then this is kind of the decision point. So this is where you're going to be able to pick and choose if you want to stay with Cisco Room OS, which we're uh, obviously familiar with. Full Room OS supporting all of the features that we have there. Um, but for this particular device, you can also choose uh, Microsoft Teams Room Mode. And so at this decision point, you basically choose which of the two that you want to do. Um, you can go back. So let's say that I do uh, register for uh, Room OS. Um, this is where you would go and put in your 16-digit activation code. However, if you do want to do an on-premise registration or something with VCS, uh, call manager, etc., uh, you still have those options as well. Um, but I'm going to go back here to our decision tree again. Um, and when it comes to our platform, if you want to register as a Microsoft Teams room device, you just simply select that as your option. Now, this is where things are really different, right? Because you still have the opportunity to register your device to Control Hub. And I'll do another video showing this and um, uh, showing you what uh, features you get with, uh, with Control Hub and your devices. Same Control Hub that you're used to today, um, same management capabilities um, that you have today as far as being able to do things like bulk templates, uh, you know, manage your devices in bulk, be able to get data, information, statistics, etc. cetera. Um, this also allows you to register, uh, when you register to, to Control Hub, it gives you the ability to join native WebEx meetings. And again, I'll do some demos of that um, here uh, in a little bit, and uh, we'll have those on for you. But um, while you're in Microsoft Teams room mode, if you register to Control Hub and you get a WebEx meeting invite, um, when you go to join that meeting, you'll actually get the full Room OS WebEx experience um, versus a direct guest join WebRT experience, uh, RTC experience, excuse me, um, that you would get in typical uh, Microsoft Teams room mode. So. Um, again, you just put your 16-digit uh, uh, Control Hub activation code, the same uh, activation codes that you would use uh, for other devices today, um, and you'll just hit continue, uh, and it'll actually start that uh, process uh, in, in behind the scenes. Um, or if you don't want to do that, you can actually skip this step. Um, so when you skip this step, um, there's no Control Hub registration. It's just a straight uh, MTR, and it will register to Microsoft Teams, and everything will be managed through the Teams Admin Center. So I'm going to hit skip right here. Uh, right now, we're doing a uh, generic password. Um, you will be able to change this password, um, so you can change it here. Uh, you can also change it in Teams Admin Center, um, but we will just give you a generic random passcode uh, that you can use. Uh, so make sure you write this down because it will keep you uh, locked out of your uh, um, um, device uh, unless you change it in Teams Admin Center. Um, and of course, you obviously can change it to something that you want right now. Uh, but then you just hit continue. Um, we do have a diagnostics and uses page where um, you can uh, go and uh, send some device usage data. Uh, this allows us to do some diagnostics uh, and uh, be able to send logs. So if you do have issues or crashes, this would be able to be bundled in 
uh, for uh, diagnostics usage, uh, for we can help troubleshoot. Uh, but of course, you can choose not to send that data by uh, clicking off of that. Um, this is anonymous data, so it's nothing that uh, you'll have to worry about in that regard, but you have some options there to, uh, to choose that. But then hitting continue, um, and you'll say that uh, ready to install Microsoft Teams rooms. Now, we actually have a begin installation here because this is kind of the decision point. So once you hit begin installation, you can't really go back and, and, and change your mind, um, but uh, um, you know, uh, unless you factory reset the device uh, based off of the rules that we have for, for, uh, from Microsoft. So, um, but yeah, you just hit begin installation. And then just like this, you're gonna see the installing Microsoft Teams rooms. Um, telling you not to unplug your device. So this is actually downloading, installing uh, Microsoft Teams rooms in the background. Uh, this process takes anywhere from, the, it depends on um, whether you've installed before, uh, how fast your internet uh, connection is for us to be able to download that uh, uh, Microsoft Teams application and install it on the device. Uh, but it could take anywhere from about two to five minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer if you have uh, extremely uh, slow internet. Um, but uh, again, just let this run, it'll be happening in the background. Uh, and then once it does, it'll automatically launch up and bring you to um, a, uh, see here we are uh, launching up. And we'll let this kind of load up, uh, but it'll bring you to uh, your page, which uh, allows you to get your uh, Microsoft Teams Rooms registration code and allows you to um, actually uh, sign on and register your device. Uh, one other thing I do want to show you here is uh, kind of while this is still loading up, um, because this is still, um, uh, and running room OS and it's a Cisco device, um, you still have the ability to um, have your uh, uh, your sidebar over here. Uh, so room OS is still running. Um, and uh, I can um, pull that out over here. You see a messy office, but you still have the room OS uh, uh, features over there on the right hand side. Um, and so um, even when you get this into the um, uh, Teams room mode and you actually uh, are using it, uh, you still have the ability to do a lot of the room OS features. Um, we will go into more detail as to what all those features are and what you can do in other videos. Um, but again, this was just more of a basic um, showing you how to put the device in Microsoft Teams room mode um, and get it uh, onboarded. Um, so I'm going to pause the video here real quick uh, and I'll restart it once we get to that uh, home screen uh, so you can see what it would look like. So just one second. Okay, and we're back. So. Just took a few minutes, but you'll see here that we have the, uh, the sign-in screen uh, for you to be able to register your device of Microsoft. Um, so if you're familiar with Microsoft Teams Rooms, this is a very familiar screen to you. Um, and once you do that, uh, you will able to, you'll be able to uh, have your device come up into Microsoft Teams Rooms mode, um, and you're good to go. So uh, again, we're gonna do more videos talking about this and showing you how to, uh, once you get it set up, what it looks like and how to use it. Um, but this was just a video showing you how easy it is to actually take your Cisco device and get it ready for Microsoft Teams Rooms. So if you have any questions, definitely uh, just comment below. We'll get to them as best we can. And uh, stay tuned. We'll have a lot more videos coming. So thanks.